Leeds is the top of the table, mm. you know. So for Hull to go there and be, you know, competitive for eighty minutes, I think, you know, you've, you've got to look at the positives. And I think, yeah, probably in hindsight, they maybe could have won. Did they deserve to? Mm, not sure. You know, I think Leeds probably just did enough to edge it out over the eighty minutes, and you know, just that little bit more clinical. But Hull FC certainly, you know, went there and gave it a good shot. And as I said, they're playing the, t- the team who was top of the league after 17 rounds. So to go there and push them the way they did, you know, I thought it was a good effort from Hull FC yesterday. And a couple of injuries as well. How worrying is that? Yeah, you know, worrying. You know, I think Leon Price limped out. You know, obviously the, the, the early signs is that, he, you know, he might be OK. But, you know, it's a worry that he's, you know, he's limping out. He's been pretty good for Hull FC this year, you know, as Leon. And I think... You know, the other guy, Minicello, has probably been arguably the best player. And, you know, I think he'll really struggle. He looked like he had a bad calf injury and he was he was limping around after the end of the game. So, you know, he's obviously a blow. You know, but Leeds got some knocks too. So, you know, it's going to be, you know, injury ward at the at both camps this week, trying to get people patched up and play. But you expect that this, this time of the season. You know, I think what's more worrying for FC is the amount of games that they've got coming up over the next 28 days. You know, really tough. You know, so it's a big ask for them to to keep backing up when they've already you know going into this this really tough run with injuries. But it is what it is, and you know that's the competition. And you know, come Friday, Hull FC will have seventeen, Leeds will have seventeen, and you know it'll be another even even close game. And you know, I predicted before the game that I thought who would win yesterday, you know, would win on Friday. But I'm not so sure now. I'm not so sure, and I think you know I'll, I'll hold that that thought and that tipping till I see the teams on Friday because you know. Both players, both teams lost key players, and you know, and obviously there's a lot of stuff on Mark Snead, you know, and obviously you know the probably saw the downside of Twitter this weekend with with that sort of thing, you know, Mark Snead was you know publicly hung door on a quarter last last night because of that, and personally, I don't think there was any malice in it, you know, obviously, I think it was clumsy, you know, and, and what he did, and obviously Danny's potentially got a nasty injury which we don't want to see in our game. But I hand on heart don't think there was any malice in that. And do I think he'll get a ban? He probably will, yeah. And I'm not sure if he's got an early guilty plea, but hopefully you know, he gets a one game ban, early guilty plea gets him off and he can play because I hand on heart, as I said, I don't think there was any malice in it from him. Different players, different competition, different venue, different result? Maybe, yeah, as this game, I think a lot will depend on who plays. You know, because obviously Danny Maguire's been in great form from Leeds, Adam Cuthbertson got a knock as well. and. You know, so they they got a couple of knocks to keep players, and obviously Price, Minicello, throwing the you know the bit of debate about Snead with whether he'll get a ban. You know, he may not even get called up. You know, that's just my interpretation of it. And I think I think a lot will depend on you know if Danny's got a serious injury, then I'm sure they will have a look at it and and, and see where they go from there. But yeah, you know, if Hull lose both Snead and Price, it will be a big ask to go in there with probably Jordan Abdul and Jordan Rankin. But saying that, I thought Abdul was great yesterday. I thought, you know, certainly, you know, he's growing, you know, he's a big boy already, but, I mean, he's growing in maturity and stature and, you know, he's playing there now and he's forced himself in there on merit and, you know, he really is a, a potential world-class player, I do believe, he's, you know, he's got that quality. If Hall FC are to reach the semi-finals, what will they have to do? What will the key be against Leeds? You know, I think I think Leeds saw yesterday, we saw glimpses of how they keep the ball alive and they're really, really difficult to, to stop when they do that and, you know, I thought Hardacre was great yesterday. And, you know, Leeds is slumping form. He's no, it's not surprising when Hardacre hasn't been playing. You know, so I think you know he's a big threat. He gets a lot of their Leeds attacks running, and then he links in well. You know, with them. But you know, the offloads hurt all yesterday. You know, and, and it was, you know, we, we all knew that. You know, cuthbertson has got that offload that he's going to hurt you. But it was like you know, Kindhorst and people like that getting offloads away. And, you know, I'm sure Hull will do a lot of work on this week of, of clamping the ball and, and not allow. Not allowing Leeds to play that second phase because that's when they hurt you. You know, they, they, they drive the ball up, turning the tackle, get the ball away, and they're really good at adapting and getting the ball out wide on them, on them second players, and and that's what it hurts you because they've got pace and you know and threat outside. And when you've got you know got wingers like Ryan Hall, who's it's a prop really, you know, who can run. You know, he's one of them really lucky people who's as big as a prop but can run like a back. And you know, they just need one-on-one opportunities, and they're really difficult to stop. So if Hull can stop that first phase, then you know, they have a chance, but you know, Hull had the threats of their own yesterday. You know, I thought Hull, you know, I thought the kicking game was on both sides. To be fair, wasn't great, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you know both teams will be working on that. But Hull had opportunities. You know, the game's right in the balance. You know, Mark Snead made a great break, man outside him. 
you know, definitely should have passed and then lost the ball. So there were six points that got away, you know, and then the, the last tries off a you know off a kick as well. So you, you just think, you know, what could have been, and I'm lo looking forward to Friday. I think it'll be a big game and a good game. Do you expect the needle that was evident yesterday to carry over? Um, I think a lot will depend on that. You know, again, on who plays. You know, or, or, and you know, obviously Brian McDermott was really upset after the game uh, with what he interpreted that Max needed done. As I said, I interpreted it slightly different, but you know, everybody sees things their own way. And, you know, he was real upset about what what had happened with that. And, and again, if Danny's got a serious injury, then I'm sure the Leeds players will will be a little bit upset about that. But you know, and again, it depends on refereeing. You know, I, I thought. You know, the referee yesterday, I thought he was pretty decent to be fair. We got a couple of things wrong. You know, I thought, you know, Liam Watts, great hit for me and, and the ball came free. And the worst it was was a one-on-one -on -one ball strip and, and, and Liam got penalised and I didn't see that. But I thought all in all, he weren't too bad. And I think that's all you can ask him. I'm not sure he'll referee on Friday. I think it'll be, you know, one of the, the top referees on, you know, maybe Silverwood or Bentham on Friday, but I'm not sure who that's been yet. But that has a a part to play and how the game goes as well and you know I'm sure you know both sides will want to be a you know it'll be a tough game. You know, we know that anybody who plays it and goes watching it knows how rough and tough it is, but you know you can't let it boil over and spoil the game and I think we've gone away from them days and hopefully Friday it'll be tough and it'll be rough but it'll be within the walls.